This is why we can't stand around endlessly debating the resurrection, wondering if it really happened. We've got work to do. Jesus wants us to get over our doubt and get on with our mission. That's why he shows Thomas his hands and his side. That's why he says, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe, because he needs some believers who by the power of the Holy Spirit will carry out the mission he has given them to love the world God loves. And maybe I should say a word about that because there are some people who are reluctant to love the world. They quote John, 1 John 2, 15, written by the same author who says, don't love the world or the things of the world. But I hope you could see there is a difference between being worldly and loving the world. Being worldly means being devoted to directed toward or connected with the affairs, the interests, the pleasures of this world. It is being so caught up, so wrapped up in the things of this world, you have no time left over for the Lord or for His work. But to love the world God loves may mean simply that we love everything God made, including every person on the planet. And I do mean every person. Maybe some of you saw my blog post from last week about having a conversation with the Pope. I was walking along Monument Avenue on a beautiful Easter Sunday afternoon in that Easter on Parade event. I was enjoying the beautiful weather, the blue skies, the fleecy white clouds, the warm sunshine, having a good time looking at those dogs wearing rabbit ears and parents pushing strollers, and I, I came across a group of five or six men standing there in black t-shirts, and one of them was wearing a, a funny hat. And I came up and said, is that a, a bishop's hat you're wearing? Are you a bishop? And he said, no, man, I'm the Pope. <laughs> and, and he pointed to the hat as evidence. So I looked a little closer. I mean, it was the right size and the right shape, but it was made out of some kind of padded polyester material. And I'm guessing the Pope's hat is not. <laughs> Where'd you get it, I asked. Costume store, he answered. But he told me how much fun he'd had wearing it to the bar where he works as a bouncer. He says, you know, I see a couple of Catholic priests sitting in there. And I go over and say, hey, you two, get back to work. <laughs> they nearly jump out of their skin. <clears throat> so I laughed at that, but it seemed odd coming from a guy pretending to be the Pope while wearing a T-shirt that said, Jesus hates you. In fact, all of these guys were wearing T-shirts with atheist or anti-Christian slogans printed on them including one that said, thank God I'm an atheist. <laughs> so I stood there with them for a while just wondering what I might say. How could I engage these men in any kind of redemptive way? I struggled to find just the right words, and before I could find them, they wandered off down the avenue to spread their message of unbelief elsewhere. But I think if I had heard this sermon last Sunday, I would have known what to do. I would have known that I had been sent by Jesus himself to bear unceasing witness to God's love for the world. And I might have recognized that God's love for the world included these guys too. To be sent as Jesus was sent is to do what Jesus would do. And as I have thought since then about what Jesus might have done in that situation, I think he might have put his arm around the Pope and said, I love the hat but the t-shirt has got to go. <laughs> because I don't hate anybody, and especially not you. And then I think he would have moved on, bearing unceasing witness to God's love for the world. He would have spent 
time with the most unlovable people in that parade, assuring them that in God's eyes they were precious indeed. And when I began to fall behind, Jesus might turn and say to me, Hey, what are you waiting for? As the Father has sent me, so I have sent you. Now receive the Holy Spirit and get on with it. Yes, Jesus, if you say so, that's just what I'll do. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, remind us just how much love we have received. Our cups are full and overflowing. Surely there is enough in there to share with a world that is dying of thirst. Send us out as you yourself were sent to love the world God loves and to never give up, to bear unceasing witness to love. For we ask it in your name. Amen.